Everybody, good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski. It is shortly after 7 o'clock in the morning, and we are seeing a, uh, what Featurecast is not showing this morning. We have a few showers and isolated thunderstorms right in here this morning. They're starting to fall apart and push southeastward. The uh, Beatrice area is probably seeing the majority of it, but again, Featurecast is not getting a good grip on what's actually ongoing this morning. Otherwise, there are a few clouds out there mixed with some clear skies. We'll see skies become mainly sunny, breezy, southerly winds. And uh, then late afternoon, we may start to see some isolated showers and thunderstorms to the north and to the west. Getting into tonight, a few more showers and isolated thunderstorms across the area. These will drift southeastward. Most will stay dry, but a few folks might see some precipitation out there this evening and overnight tonight. And then by tomorrow morning, this will start to wind down. Just maybe a few clouds left around to start off your Friday. Then the skies become mostly sunny, more heat on the way for your Friday. Uh, winds do change direction though, though, and that's going to start to draw in some cooler weather to the north and we'll start to see that cooler weather come in for the weekend. Another small chance of rain and thunderstorms Saturday, Friday night into Saturday morning. Most of us will stay dry though. Uh, we'll just see a few extra clouds around Saturday. In fact, uh, we're going to keep a small chance of rain going on Saturday itself, but again, for most of us it'll be a dry day, but those extra clouds may help keep things a little bit cooler heading into the weekend. Small chance of severe weather later today and this evening, mainly off to the northwest for large hail and damaging wind gusts. Most of us will not see severe weather. High today, it's going to be a scorcher, mid-90s to as hot as maybe 107 or 108 in southwest Nebraska, where the air is a bit drier there in the southwest. That's where your hottest temperatures are going to be. In fact, there is a heat uh, advisory in place today, this afternoon and early this evening for most of those orange areas there near and west of Highway 281. Those areas are more likely to see the heat index up around 105 or higher. There are some places in northern Kansas where it's already in effect for tomorrow as we could see another day of heat in those locations. Well, tonight's lows dropping back into the upper 60s, low to mid 70s. And then tomorrow, another hot one, 95 to 105, pretty common for most locations. Once again, your hottest temperatures in the southwest. Tomorrow night, mid 60s to lower 70s, maybe some mid 70s out there. And then your brief break from the heat, if you want to call this a break on Saturday. Upper 80s northeast to upper 90s southwest. That's about as cool as it gets in the long range forecast here. Check out what's coming. Hot the next couple of days. A little bit cooler if you want to call it that for Saturday. Sunday, after Saturday night, slight chance of rain and thunderstorms. It looks like our chances of rain do shut off uh, for early for the first half of next week and uh, Sunday lower to mid 90s and then we start to see more heat Monday Tuesday and Wednesday we're back up into the upper 90s to near 100 degrees and it looks like it's going to stay that way in the long range a lot of upper 90s to near 100 all the way through next week basically excuse me uh no signs of any kind of break from the heat anytime soon I've been looking at the long range two-week forecast they still show the heat right over the middle part of the country with uh, no break coming in anytime soon so the biggest break we get is this weekend with those lower 90s on the way well i want to thank you all for watching and i will see you all again on friday morning to wrap up the work week for all of you until then take care enjoy your thursday and god bless stay cool stay cool out there bye